scared. At the end of the day, it's like you gotta remember. You rather I rather be knowing I go to sleep and I know that I took a risk. I'll be scared of waking up 30 years down the line and I'm still in the same position. Like that's the real scary part that a lot of people don't understand is that even if you don't take a risk, it's gonna bite you in your ass sooner or later because it's like you're wasting all this time that you could have been done started and you probably would have been way ahead. And I feel like a lot of people, money comes and goes, right? And everything is consistently flowing. Let me see if I can add him again. Bo, it's showing you're frozen on my screen. I don't know if it's letting you add yourself again, Bo, but it's not showing the request. I was trying to have Bo on here tonight, too. Does anybody have questions about how Rochelle got started or the risk she took or anything at all? I feel like people always have so many questions, but it's like when we get on here and we answer them, it's like crickets. It's like straight crickets. And the thing with e-commerce is, yes, the products change. Yes, the platform changes, but you're really able to control your income. And another thing I want to say is the difference between the people that make money and the people that don't are people that follow directions. Mm -hmm. It says DM me the word e-com, not comment. <laughs> like... I will say that she is very accurate in what she said, that a lot of people do get in their own way. And following instruction is one just very basic thing, but it goes a long way. Like, seriously. No fact. Oh, here we go. Here's How, yeah, we can. How did you come up with the investing money so quickly? Uh, um, so, well, at the time, I originally invested a smaller amount when she was doing a different thing. This was seven years ago. Um, it was 2000 at the time and I was able to do that, but do with her help. I, I did make money right away. That company, we got paid every week. So I made about 3000 that following week and right at, right away, my ball was rolling and I reinvested and took my money that I made in those few weeks and paid her to do Shopify right away. What if you like right away. don't have capital or 10 K to put in, what are the other options? I'll let you answer there, for Michelle and then Bo can answer. I mean, I would say that there's there there's funding obviously for many reasons whether it's through her or through their own bank but that's what i would say wow yeah funding funding is is important also what i would tell people also credit i feel like credit is big a lot of people they have credit yeah. i just want to let you guys know that you want to start leveraging your credit because bad credit is the same thing as good credit so you want to make sure that you're actually using it for a better purpose I see a lot of people have, oh, I have a lot of credit. I'm doing this, but what are you really doing with your credit? Like, what's the point of having a uh, 800 credit score if you're not really using it? Like, I don't understand that. So why don't you just use it to actually make more money? And why don't you use it to leverage? So that's ways that you can make it happen. Or just ask someone, like, ask someone in your family or your mom or your dad. They'll probably invest into your future because it's more important. But those are the ways right there. And you said funding. Right, so the funding next is great. question is, what did you do? What did you have to do day to day to keep up after the first initial investment, Rochelle? I mean, well, what did I do to keep up with my business? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I asked questions. I paid attention. Depends on what I was doing. If it was Shopify, I needed to know how to run that store. But anything, just knowing how, how to maintain each platform. Like I said, I've. I went in like a ladder. I've done all the platforms, just knowing what to do or paying to have it done at all times. Like I've always paid for it to be done. Like that's what I've always done. Facts. Bo, what were some of the things day to day that we had to do once we started working together? Man, just uh, first of all, is being consistent. That That's number one. You want to be able to uh, be consistent on everything that you're doing. Also, just going over the product research, you want to make sure that you are logging in, checking day to day. And one thing I always tell people, too, is ask a lot of questions. A lot of people don't ask a lot of questions at the beginning. And there's nothing wrong with asking questions. I feel like a lot of you guys are just in this stare mode. And I used to be like that. And being in that stare mode, you're never going to understand what is really going on in uh, other people's lives. So you want to be able to ask questions. That's how I got smart. I just kept asking questions. Asking questions. And you want to ask us while we're here. A lot of you guys.
come on here, y'all don't ask us questions, and it's like, do you really want it, or are you just playing yourself? And I feel like a lot of people, they really want it, but they don't know how to ask. Like, take away the pride and ego and just ask us questions while you're here, because we don't know what you're going through. Like, closed mouths don't get fed. Chris, I used to ask abundance of questions. No, if you remember, you like to. that's how I feel like I got like where I am. Like I didn't, I did like he said, close mouths don't get fed. Like I wanted to know, I wanted to do everything. What are some of the things you sold, Rochelle? And then we'll go to Bo. Um, I like selling this one. So, well, a couple of random things like on eBay, one of my top selling things like years back was a female <laughs> urinal system. It was like one of my top selling products like many years ago as far as like what's current. There's the holidays right now. One of another product that I like um, during the, um, the holidays is like the projector. I just project life. That's simple. Well, what was one of the things you were able to sell? Like a lot of things you could sell is like kitchen utensils. You could sell like microwave items. You could sell like pot spoons. Looking at a couple of things now. And if it's Halloween now, you could sell like a majority of like Halloween wear. You could actually costumes and actually Halloween merchandise. So these are things that you can actually start selling early. So when I, somebody said, I'm just scared of spending the money and it failing. What would you say to somebody who is scared to spin and make this investment, Rochelle? I mean, my answer to that could like, I feel like there's so many things in life that are scary. And we, we all go to, a lot of people go to college and they're not scared of that. For some reason, when it comes to this, people get like scared because they're handing in their mind money over. I, I feel like with this, there's so much more you can learn as a life skill in a smaller period of time than a college, going to college for so many years. I, I don't understand sometimes the fear, but again, I met her when she was 22 with blue hair. So I, I'll never forget that. Like it's my thing I always say, like I, if anyone felt fear at the time, it was me. So, but she's been around for seven years. I mean, all this is real. You know, it's real. I think, it's just pulling the trigger. Oh. I feel like if you're scared, at the end of the day, it's like you gotta remember. You had to, I'd rather be knowing I go to sleep and I know that I took a risk. I'll be scared of waking up 30 years down the line and I'm still in the same position. Like that's the real scary part that a lot of people don't understand is that even if you don't take a risk, it's gonna bite you in your ass sooner or later because it's like you're wasting all this time that you could have been done started. And you probably would have been way ahead. And I feel like a lot of people, money comes and goes, right? If you got a job, it's the best time to invest. If you have money, it's the best time to invest. And you learn as you go. So by you having that mentality, it's never going to work when you start off thinking negative. Think about, what if I invest? It will work. It's going to happen. But you want to speak positivity into existence because negativity doesn't get you anywhere. A lot of people have a lot of negative thoughts. And guess what? They're still in negative situations because of their mindset. So... Be positive about the situation. No. no, that's a fact. So I have a question for both of you. Obviously, tons of people teach e-commerce. Tons of people are talking about it on the internet. What made you pull the trigger with me versus another person? Because um, I know, Rochelle, you saw me from another person. Yeah. Well, you met me outside. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. Not even in a business setting. So what made you guys pick Wealthy College Kid? And what do you feel like makes Wealthy College Kid different? Want to go first? You can go ahead. Okay. So you're right. I did hear about you from someone else, but it was still something. Even when I heard of you, I still knew in the back of my head, like I gotta check that person out. And then I watched you, and that, and that sounds creepy. I watched you, and then like I was like, again, it was just something that stood out. Where it was something inside you. I was like, I don't know. You had a certain way about you, and when I did work with you. When we, when I did ask my questions and you did answer them, it was like the way it clicked. It was like, I, I'll never forget. And it all just kind of made sense to me. And the way that you know, it was just very different. And I, li I like it. I like your style. Like this downtown Orlando. So what I always tell people is I was watching her. I'm like, okay, Instagram, I'm looking at what she's doing. And I'm like, okay, the consistency, like. A lot of people could talk all this, what they're about to do or how they're going to do it. But when I see somebody that's very consistent and I'm seeing that, you know, people have been signing up, people have been getting results, also seeing her go live every day, like really seeing her put the energy in, 
it's one thing about people not being passionate about it, like they have that shit, like a lot of people do, and she really put her 100% into it. So I'm like, you know what? This is somebody that I need to work with because I don't, I'm not around a lot of people that take their craft serious, and just a lot of people don't know what they're doing. They have no purpose, and they half-ass things. So that's why I choose Tashana. She don't really half-ass. She really go hard at it. How could I explain to somebody who can help me invest in this? What would I say, and how would how long would it take to see it pop? <laughs> Thank you.